the most prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? It's Tottenham Hotspur, they face Liverpool, and it's coming up live on EA TV next. Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It should do. Just look at the quality down there. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, they should be hard to break down because they're set up to defend in numbers. But it's important they don't leave the front too isolated. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult to counter-attack. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold. In with a chance! And it has arrived! The opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, it's a big moment for Jurgen Klopp. He just needs to get his players refocused now. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. Regain possession. Very quick thinking there. And in with a real chance. Let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Salah does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There was no stopping that. So underway again. And a 2-0 advantage here. Pat Matar side. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. He takes on the shot. Ibrahima Konate. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Diaz. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Could get themselves back into it. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. <laughs> now, sending it in. Gakpo Alexis McAllister Fine work from Spurs to win it back A Spurs free kick it's going to be Will he play it in? Just the challenge that was required. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. 
Pat Matar He read the situation defensively and did his job. A real opening now. And cleared away. Ibrahim Achonase. Van Dijk with it. An effective ball. Alexis McAllister. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Diaz. Real chance. Not out of the woods yet. And he did what he had to do defensively. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Well, they fancy a short one. And played in. Well, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Oh, he'll take it on. Able to block it. James Madison. Could cross it in here. Could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, just look at this again. It's a great finish. He just caresses the ball beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal. So back underway. Tottenham still behind, but they're making this a contest. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. And a good-looking ball. Firing it towards goal. And foiled only by the crossbar. Just what the Liverpool fans wanted to see as they extend the lead to two goals. Well, just take another look at this because he reacts so well and he then keeps his composure. It's a good finish. Well, that goal is just what Jurgen Klopp would have wanted. Moment. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Jones. Diaz. In towards Salah. Well, it might still work out for them. quality defending so two minutes of stoppage time here and teammates around him but really stick and it stopped a promising attack in its tracks and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here well, it is a yellow card for accumulation of offences. Well, it was only a matter of time. He's been on the edge for quite a while now. That's a good ball. And a good take under duress there. And the referee's whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium.
Now the ball is moving again. The first half struggles for Tottenham were there for all to see. Can they make a better fist of it in this half? Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Gakpo. What a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. left his man behind here oh dealt with by the goalkeeper <laughs> so a personnel change then now how about the short corner to cross into the center well no problems defensively Diaz and defending as a unit and for more on the injury let's go down to our reporter Jeff Shreves Oh, that's a real concern looks from the bench, I have to tell you, because he's landed right on top of his elbow, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. And across the byline, a goal kick as a result. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. Alexander Arnold. Diaz and played in. Liverpool corner given. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Playing it in over the top in the end well, we have 30 minutes to go Richarlison and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Son. Now with Bentancur. Delivering it into the box. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Oh, genuine chance and a goal here there it is they've done it well here it is again and they've taken their goal well but the defending was non-existent that should never happen Of things 
Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Doing everything possible to keep possession. Alisson. Trent Alexander-Arnold. 20 minutes to go in this one. Mo Salah. Alexis McAllister. Here's Robertson. So Bosloy. Oh, moving it nicely. Diaz. It has to be. Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Firing it towards goal. Oh, great block. Alexander Arnold. Now Mo Salah. That's useful play. And defensive play to be applauded. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. And successfully cut out. He's in here. Well, going for power with that shot, but it didn't happen for him at all. Well, that's a poor effort. He's got that all wrong. That's a really bad shot in the end. And space on the wing for Liverpool. Madison. And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. And a substitution in the offing. And deep into the penalty area. And the keeper making sure nothing untoward happens. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. performance the defenders unable to stop him well let's look at this again Derek because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick but he's still got so much work to do just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away that's a really good finish about the outcome surely they now have been removed Son oh nice ball over the top to chase corner given to Spurs see about the delivery it hasn't come to very much this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity nice weight on the pass great opportunity oh we have just witnessed a special moment pure quality
Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And what a great finish it is. He just lifts the ball over the keeper into the back of the net. That's a well-constructed goal. Kulusevski. Konate. Luis Diaz. Good looking sequence. Cross could be useful. How about this? England's most successful European club have done it again. Liverpool, the winners of the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The kings of European club football, Liverpool. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Well, the celebrations are ongoing. I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon. They save for the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly played their part, the fans. They deserve to be involved with these celebrations. They've made so much noise here.